Dum, da, 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 da. This first one is about Facebook. And Facebook. it's about fraud, and it's a it's a like mystery story, and it's got mm. suspense. Um, no, this is one that just got on Hacker News today, and it's a it's a really awesome video that uh, that this guy put together about his Facebook fan page, and in it he covers why he was able to basically there are companies out there who sell fake Facebook lights, right? Wait, what's a fake Facebook like? Fake Facebook lights are like lights. lights. <laughs> Um, like yeah, like these guys. Or like um, likes. Not by Facebook. Likes. Like, likes. Like, like, like likes. What they are is they'll pay people in like certain uh, developing countries mm -hmm. to go around and click like on like, just like that. Yeah, like. <sighs> All right, sorry, I was distracted. Okay. Um, to, so they'll pay people to just click like and to like your page, right? Uh, so you can buy like, I don't know how many, a thousand likes for maybe a hundred bucks or something like that, mm. or maybe even more, 10,000 likes. Uh, but that's bad, and Facebook says that's not allowed. However, if you, you can buy likes from Facebook directly. You can buy likes from Facebook? Yeah, if you ever go to our page, you can see there's a little promote your page to get more likes. So he was like, I'm not doing the fake thing, I'm doing this. Oh, so you're, you're, you're paying, but actual real people are liking them. No. No. You're paying, and your Facebook ad is being advertised on Facebook or your page, and people can like it, but it's also fake people. That's his point, is oh. that Facebook themselves, while they're saying it's wrong to buy fake likes from other people, the likes that they're selling end up being fake anyway. So it's okay if you buy fake likes through Facebook? Well, his point is okay. it's unlikely that Facebook is knowingly selling fake likes, right? So he's like, why are they doing this when they could do it real? Well, his understanding or his analysis is that if, uh, if, if all that these people were doing, the, 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 the spammers, was just like fake liking pages, it would be easy to catch. So these sure. click spammers are actually having people randomly click on ads so that it becomes hard to catch their spam. Oh, so it's like a, it's like a trick. When I click on an ad, it's actually liking that page? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it's a like. That's smart. So, so these guys are doing it for free. Okay. So just all of these spammers on Facebook end up making it such that even when you run a legit ad campaign to get likes right, to your page, right. you still get like click, click bots and, and farmers all over the world. Um, and it's basically worthless. In now, fact, can we do this? We could do it, but it's not only are they not are you do real this? people and they're not going to get you any engagement, it's actually negative. It harms your page more. Really? Because if you have a ton of people that are like fake yeah. and then you post something and it has low engagement, Facebook will will punish you. What is engagement? Just like commenting and stuff like that? It's like the percentage of people who yeah. like it, who comment out of your overall group. So if we had like 100,000 people, but they were all bots, Facebook would look at our posts and be like, this must be really shitty content. Yeah. Because none of the 100,000 people want to engage That's true. Um, so speaking of uh, uh, paying Facebook, we've been recently running ads for one month rails. Uh, and I always have people saying, like my family or friends, they're saying, hey, I see your ads all over Facebook. Yeah. Uh, why don't you stop uh, advertising, advertising to me? I already, you know, paid for the thing. Um, and I think it's Can't interesting. Can't help it. Yeah. Right. I, <clears throat> I think it's interesting to note, like, what we're doing there with retargeting. Yes. So that's the idea that um, if someone comes to our website one time, they see the Facebook likes all over. So if you're seeing those sometimes, it means maybe you came to our website once. Yes. Um, now, is that, is that a good method for getting users, or is that shady at all? No, that's a great method for getting people. Like it's like following people around. They knew they came to our site, though. Yeah. I mean, that happens so much on the internet, you're probably not even aware of it anymore. Okay. Probably, I wouldn't say most of the ads, but a lot of the ads that are following you around the web are doing that because of stuff you've already done. Like, if you, um, if you almost buy something on Amazon, you keep it in your cart, for example, and then you get rid of it, yeah. Amazon will advertise to you to like buy that item. Yeah. They'll be like, oh, it's on sale or something like that. Uh, this happens all the time in shopping and everywhere else. It's a very effective form of advertising, too. Yeah. Because some of the time, people want to buy it, they just sort of like forgot or they weren't decisive enough. Yeah. So you're going to get, in terms of like the return on it, you're going to get probably two or three times uh, the number of people signing up who click through those ads than you would by advertising to random people. Oh, so it's better return is what you're saying. Much better return. Targeting. However, your potential audience size is limited because you could only do it to people who have been to your site. So for us, you know, there's lots of people on Facebook, but only 
some small fraction of them have been to our site. Mm. So retargeting kind of like we exhaust that audience quickly. Okay, so retargeting, yes. Buying likes. Buying likes, negative. No. Negative. That's right. Dumb, dumb.